Hi, my name's Julian Ridden, aka The Moodle Man, and welcome to The Moodle Man Blog Podcast. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at the new Google Search uh, block written in Ajax uh, that can be used in Moodle's 1.7 and upwards. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Uh, what you're looking at here is uh, my Moodle Playpen site. It's currently running the 1.9. Uh, and because we're showing a block, I've just stuck this into the Advanced Blocks demo. Uh, if you want to check this out yourself at any time, please feel free to log into the site. You can see the URL up the top there. Here we go. Um, now at the bottom right hand, I put this block. It doesn't look at all exciting. What we've actually done is made it so that when you actually type in a search criteria, it actually brings that search information right up in the block using Ajax. Why would we do this? Well, this actually makes it possible for the student to be able to search for additional resources and materials without actually having to leave uh, the learning environment, uh, where normally, obviously, you would have had to go into, uh, go into Google to do this. Uh, the great thing about it, of course, is you know, there are four pages of results. I can actually go forward and back different pages here without, again, leaving my course page. And if I find a resource that I like, I can just click on it and here we go, it brings it up in my case in a new tab or it might be a new window depending on the version of browser that you're using. And as always, there we go, it just takes a little bit of time on my computer. Uh, the other thing you can do as well is actually not just search the web, but also search just this site. So if you actually have a Moodle site that's actually visible to Google, as in this case this one is, you can also use it to be able to search it. So here I can see different forum posts or discussions or even you know uh, different resource pages that have been created. So the Google search, uh, search block is actually really quite powerful for getting that kind of search built right into the page. Uh, one thing I do want to quickly show you before we leave the site is that a few people have written to me saying they can't get it to work. There is one very important step, which if you read the readme, you would know about. Once you've installed it, make sure you go to Modules, Blocks, and click on Google Search. You'll be actually be asked to put in API key. See, the way this code works is actually using a piece of code that Google has created. Uh, and it requires a key to be operated. So all you do is just click here to acquire the key. And you do is sign up for it. And all you have to do is just type in the URL and hit generate. You don't need to provide them with any personal information. What this will do is provide you a key which you can now paste into here, hit save, and the block will work. Now the next question is where do you get this wonderful block? Glad you asked. Just go to the Moodle website, click on modules and plugins, and right near the top of the page, you will see the new Google, uh, Ajax Google search block. Click on it, and here you'll find a link for the download and to a discussion where it's being uh, uh, discussed and, and, and problem solved. So look, that's it for the code. Um, short, simple vodcast today. I'd urge you to give it a try if you think it might be useful for you. Um, it is the first block I've released in quite some time, so please do test it and let me know if anything goes wrong. And uh, if you do like it, please make sure you leave some comments in the blog. Thanks for that. Until next time, see you later.